Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to FreeCAD Tutorials. In this series of FreeCAD Tutorials, we explain useful tips and tricks that will help you to improve your FreeCAD modeling skills. In this video tutorial, we explain how to use external geometry objects such as lines and points when creating sketches and when for example, attaching sketches to different surfaces. This will help you to precisely define a sketch on a slanted surface, such as, for example, the surface that you can see over here, and by properly referring to external geometry objects. So let me illustrate the main problem over here. Namely, over here, I have created a sketch and I attach this sketch to this slanted surface over here. And if I double click over here, you can see where I am. My sketch lives in this plane over here. Now, the problem becomes the following. Let's say we introduce the grid and we want to construct, for example, a circle. And here's our circle. And let's say that I want to precisely position the center of this circle with respect to this edge over here or with respect to this point over here. And here you immediately can see the issue. I cannot click on this external geometry. So nothing happens. So what I need to do, I need to create an external geometry object in this plane. That is, I need to be able to refer to this point as well as to other points on this external geometry. So let's learn how to do that. Okay, so let's start from scratch. In this video tutorial, we assume that you know almost nothing or very little about FreeCAD and consequently we will spend more time explaining some basic operations. So after you open FreeCAD, let's create a new document by clicking over here. Then let's create our body. You can click here and then let's create the sketch by clicking here. And let's select this plane over here and then click here to activate the grid. Make sure that this option is selected to snap to grid. And let's create a simple hexagon. So click here and find hexagon. So I will center the hexagon here and let's click here, do the right click to exit. Okay, let's constrain the dimensions. For example, I need to constrain this point relatively to relative to this point or I need to constrain the radius so let's click here and let's click here and then make sure that you click here and then you can constrain the distance and then let's click here to constrain the distance now we are left with a single degree of freedom and let's see what is this degree of freedom here it is you can see that we can rotate this and we don't want that we need to constrain an additional degree of freedom Okay, so let's constrain the symmetry. You can click on this point and you can click on this point over here. Then click on this vertical line. And let's again click over here to constrain symmetric. And now everything is fully constrained. Good. Let's close this and let's extrude this. You can do it by clicking here. And let's go with, for example, let's do, for example, 100 to see what will happen. Here it is. Now, Let's create a sketch and let's map the sketch to this surface over here. Click on model over here, then click on create sketch. Let's select any plane. For example, you can select even X, Y plane, either like this or by clicking here. If you click here, here it is, close it. And here is our sketch. This sketch, if you double click, is actually mapped to the base plane. Okay. Now we would like to map this sketch to, for example, this side over here. How to do that? Well, relatively easy. Select this face, then over here, expand this menu and click on attach sketch. Then expand and select the newly created sketch. Here it is and click on OK. OK. And now if you double click on sketch, you will be inside of that sketch. Now. Let's create a test shape on this sketch. For example, let's create a simple rectangle. And here it is, do the right click. 
and let's see what's happening over here. Now, I would like to constrain this point with respect to this point over here. However, I cannot find this point. I cannot select it. To find a way how to select it, or actually to select it, you need to click on Create External Geometry. So click here, and now you can see how nicely things are being selected. So click here, and voila, here it is. Side appears, another side appears, here's another one, here's another one, and it is beautiful. Then do the right click, and now they become selectable. You can see that you can select this, you can select this, and you can constrain. So let's test this and let's see if this thing is working properly. So click here, click here, and let's click here and let's constrain horizontal distance and let's go for example with 10. Good, this is amazing. Let's do the, the uh, vertical distance, click here, click here, and then do the constrained vertical distance and let's do for example 40. And here we are, amazing. So let's see what happens. Now let's find these points over here. So click here, click here. Let's do the constrained vertical distance. Let's do, for example, 30. And let's do horizontal distance. Click here, click here. And then over here, click and constrain horizontal distance. And let's do 17. And that's it. Good. Let's see the effect of this. If you close this, you can see that we have precisely created a rectangle on this side and we can manipulate with that rectangle or we can extrude. So let's see and let's try to extrude it. Click here and you can see that you can nicely extrude this side and you can create whatever you like. For example, let's go with this. Let's click on OK. And voila, here it is. Looks truly, truly, truly amazing. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. And also on my YouTube channel, you can find more than 1,000 free video tutorials covering different topics such as robotics, mechatronics, AI, machine learning, CAD modeling, mathematics, and control engineering. That's all and see you in the next video tutorial. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Also on my YouTube channel, you can find more than 1000 free video tutorials covering different topics such as robotics, mechatronics, mechanical engineering, AI, free CAD, mathematics, applied engineering, electrical engineering, mechatronics, as well as control engineering, which is my specialty. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video tutorial.